Hey, what's going on? This is World Famous 718, and this is our channel, 12 Volt Reviews and 101s, brought to you by the Bigger Picture Automotive Systems. Today, we're going to do a 101 on GPS, Global Positioning Systems. Uh, those are like your in-dash navigation systems, your portable TomToms, movies, Magellans, or whatever those tracking devices that you have are called, even the ones in the phone. They all work on the same principle, and I'm going to explain basically how that goes. The system was originally developed for the military to use and it was used for them to accurately pinpoint anywhere in the world where their soldiers are, where the tanks, the boats or planes or whatever they use them for to track those. It was Bill Clinton that passed um, the technology bill for it to be used by consumers. I don't know when he did it, but it was Bill Clinton that made it possible for us to use the system. We don't get to use the same signal as the military. We use what's called the L1 system and it's transmitted by UHF signal in a line of sight transmission. Line of sight meaning that your GPS device is called a receiver and it has to receive the signal and it has to have a line of sight so you have to have clear view of the sky or the antenna that it's using has to have a clear view of the sky so it can get the signal. What it is is a constellation of 24 satellites that are 12,000 feet in the air and in orbit constantly and they constantly transmit a signal of their exact position and the exact time of day. The exact time of day that they transmit is through something called an atomic clock that is the most accurate clock in the world. It's accurate up to about three billionths of a second. Very accurate. Every satellite has one and every receiver has one. So at any given time all of those satellites are transmitting this signal. Twelve of them are in view of any receiver in the world at any given time. The other twelve are on the other side of the world. When you turn on your machine, it starts receiving signals from the satellites. All it needs is to receive a signal from about three satellites and then it'll do a mathematical process and some other formula, something called triangulation, to pinpoint exactly where it is in reference to the satellite. That's how it knows exactly where you are. So what it is, is not you're not sending any signal to the satellites. You're actually receiving signals. So the satellites are finding you. You're not finding the satellites. So once the satellites find you, they can track where you are. When you start inputting, like I want to go to 1225 Matthews Avenue or whatever, what you're actually inputting is a longitude and a latitude coordinate. And that's information that now the device knows where it wants to go. So in relation to where the satellite is, it's going to map out a route, the best route for you. Now once the route is mapped out, everything else from there is the technology of the machine. It can give you points of interest or anything else, but that has nothing to do with the technology. The technology is just a mapping system. Three points, you form like a triangle, you know exactly where you are in relation to the satellites, and then you get where you're going by the, the features that's on the machine. So that's the basic way that the GPS satellite works. And if you have any questions or you want to purchase one of these devices for your in-dash, definitely call 718-249-9909. And that's the Bigger Picture Automotive Systems. Thank you very much.